Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and today we have episode 2 in our brand new Let's Play series for Coral Islands 1.0 release. I'm so excited to discover more of this beautiful game with you all. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, back on our farm. Let's check our mail. My inventory was full uh, previously, so now we have our fishing pole and bug net. Oh, and of course, we will have the uh, Kickstarter mythical pets on this file. So that's something we can look into later. We're not ready to adopt a pet yet, but you know, we'll get there eventually. And I already upgraded my bag. So Sam's advertising a new bag, but I already have it. So we don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. I'm gonna label this extras for now. Just for stuff I don't know what to do with. Ooh, our pockets are getting a little bit full with all of these extra tools now. We should definitely go start catching some bugs and fish. Uh, but let's start by watering our crops, of course. Oh my gosh, our stamina is so low today. That's what we get for going to bed late. Oh my gosh, we're almost out of stamina. We're definitely gonna have to have uh, candy for breakfast, for sure. So let's uh, have a snack here. We have to keep meeting everyone too. We've only met like maybe half the town. Let's head into town. Foraging all along the way, of course. Oh, look at these beautiful forageables. There's so many of them. All right. Oh, uh-oh. You're not welcome here. Let's go join the protest. It's Pufferfish. Hello all, it's Karen. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. You can call me Karen. And please, to elaborate, Ms. Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Ms. Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not always as one-sided as Ms. Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty, if I may, red shirt. We can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach, see where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town, you see, creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you all will see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier, inside fish and sips, enjoying life. Red shirt? Look at the big picture here. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this, uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out. Expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say yes. And by bail out, you mean drilling around the island? Pufferfish's investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. <laughs> Folks, let's cool our heads. Nothing will be solved if we act out of emotion. I feel like we have to act out of emotion. We gotta save the island. Ms. Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. Ugh, how awful, you guys. How awful. This is the last thing we need, honestly. The town already was like suffering and then pufferfish strikes when we're vulnerable. I won't have any of that. Sarah, right? Oh, I know you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. Sarah, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. Well, that was not the way I wanted to start my day. I would have much preferred to be greeted by Taco first thing in the morning instead of Karen. Hi, Taco. You wonder if he ever barks? I'm sure Taco barks. Taco, go for go for your daily fountain splash. He's the cutest thing ever. The cutest thing in the world. Okay, so, oh, a stranger up here. We're gonna try to meet strangers. I think I'm pretty happy with the crops we have planted right now. We could plant some more if we wanted to. Hello, Charles. Well, hello to you too. You must be new here. I hope you like Coral Island. See you around. Oh, no sneeze. Huh, you learn something new every day. So the rumors were true after all. Welcome to town. We got a new scientist in town last month too. Can't remember his name though. Anyway, I hope you like it here. That would be Surya. 
I want my glasses. We have a thousand coins. I'm kind of like more than willing to splurge on some some glasses for my my girl. Uh, who else? Oh, let's go to the salon. Emily. Hello, hello. Oh, the new neighbor. So someone really was moving into town, huh? I didn't believe it until I saw you myself. I don't often go to the part of the island where your farm is. It was overgrown the last time I visited. Just a mess. How is it so far? Uh, still a mess. <laughs> it's pretty messy. I love the salon though. Look at how beautiful it is in here. Ugh. So lovely. Hey, Macy. Hello to you too. I'm Macy. Where are you visiting from? It's nice to finally have a tourist in town. I'm not a tourist. Oh, you just moved to Coral Island. That's amazing. Welcome and confusing. Why? Well, I hope you're getting around all right. Coral Island is kind of big, so getting your bearings can be pretty hard at first. You'll get used to it in no time, I have no doubt. Macy is making no sense at all to me. Okay, let's reinvest. Let's reinvest. Let's be a little bit smart. I'm going to purchase a couple of each. We're reinvesting, okay? It's important. You gotta spend money to make money. I know it doesn't feel like it all the time, but it's true. It'll work. It's not good for mama to get worked up like the other day. Oh no, Betty. Oil. Two loaves of bread. Oh, sorry to disturb your, your shopping. I can't imagine what will happen to the ocean once they went ahead with the oil drilling. We must stop them before it's all too late. Eva says I should check up on Betty. Gotta make sure she's all right. She was like so upset at the pufferfish meeting. I've never seen her so worked up like that. Well, I'm heading out. Gotta go back to being a farmer, you know? Listen up. From what I've heard, pufferfish's MO. That's crime talk for one's particular technique. Anyway, they slowly push people out of the town they move into. And that was always the case. Alice! So it's an oil company, huh? I don't think tourists are going to book our inn again with oil drills around here. Oh no, I didn't even think of that. That's so true, Alice. Why would you want to come to a tropical island oasis that's surrounded by oil rigs? If you're interested in aliens, you should read this book by Professor Keep. He has an interesting theory about ET intelligence. I read it back in university. Who orders the books inside the library, I wonder? There are way too many cookbooks. <laughs> Noted. All right, back to the farm. I just want to be socializing with people. I also really want to clear some of this up. It's so messy. Oh, we have mail. Oh, from Jeff Smith. It looks like you're ready for this. Here is a basic sprinkler. Place it on your field and it'll water some of your crops for you. The best part, you can craft as many of these as you need as long as you have the necessary materials. See, we love Jeff Smith. Thank you, Jeff Smith. We got a free sprinkler. Uh, we don't have the recipe for it yet. Okay, let me just move this down like one spot we don't need that top part yeah that's perfect and then look this will be perfect we can add another plot yeah like right down here and it'll still be protected and then we can plant some of the new oh another coffer oh my gosh my inventory is so full okay hold on we should go to the blacksmiths and get some of these opened because we do have money to spend i mean we don't want to spend like too much money but we could get those opened look it's perfect it's a whole plot there that's awesome and then i have an extra wild seed we can plant here okay awesome everything is taken care of here so we actually have four coffers to open i feel like we should definitely go do that i think we can make it in time they should close by five so if we sprint and dash we should make it and then maybe we can catch some fish and bugs over in the woodlands area oh it's bonbon hello bonbon looks extra fluffy today hey we should check on betty we should check on Betty. Hi, Betty. How are you doing? Everyone's worried about you. I keep telling my sons I'm fine. I got a little worked up because of Karen, that's all. You'll find a handy little calendar in front of Sam's store. It's got all the festivals and birthdays. Do give it a look. Quite helpful, I must say. It is Joko's birthday today, so it would be nice if we could give Joko a birthday gift. Maybe we can like pick a flower or something for Joko. But first things first, let's go to the blacksmiths. All the kids are off school. It's so cute. Hello, hello. I am here to open up my coffers. We got an ancient battery, a gardenite ring, shadow puppet, and another shadow puppet. Wow, we got artifacts in every single coffer. That's really cool. It costs 20 coins to open each one. It's so worth it. We'll have to come back when we want to upgrade our tools. We're not ready for that yet. Oh, hi there. We met Raphael. My name is Raphael. Um, I'm one of the blacksmiths here in Starlet Town. That Miss Pufferfish doesn't seem to take no for an answer. Whatever. I'll be ready for their shenanigans. We stay ready. I'm trying to persuade my cousins to expand the inn's business. Maybe they could add karaoke, let people choose songs and sing along. They keep turning me down. Didn't see the potential, I guess. My cousins, well, technically the twins who run the inn are my ex-cousins-in-law, but we just treat them like family. Thought that was pretty standard, but maybe it's just an us thing. That is Alice and Suki. There should be some bugs around here that we could catch. 
Ah, Paul! <laughs> Paul got in my way. Paul said no. You're not gonna catch that beautiful butterfly. You're gonna let it be free. That was so rude. You know, I was trying. I believe in us. We can get this cricket. Gotcha. We caught a cricket. Our first catch. <laughs> Let's get this one too. Oh, this one's moving fast. Gotcha. A wasp. Wow, even better. We go from a cricket to a wasp. Hey, Waku. How's it going? I know we're supposed to oppose the pufferfish plan for this island, but if they offer to renovate both the observatory and dock, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, we say no. Waku can be bought, is what we just learned. I'm gonna go give this daffodil to Joko as a birthday present. I hope he likes it. It's all I have. I'm broke. This is so cute. Look at them. Some bonding time. Father-son bonding. Happy birthday, Joko. Thank you, Sarah. You really don't need to get me anything for my birthday. Well, I thought I should. I'm new to town. Part of the reason Dinda and I moved here is so that we can enjoy the beauty of nature. But with pufferfish here? Oh no, we can't play in the abandoned building anymore. Our base is taken. Got it. We got a puss moth. Surprisingly fluffy. I would love to level up our foraging so I can get the quicker sprinting speed. I feel like I'm trudging around the island. You know when you're like dreaming and you're running away from something and it feels like you're going in slow motion. That's how I feel right now. So I'd love to get my sprinting speed up just a touch, which we can do when we level up foraging. Hey, Scott, nice to meet you. You're from Pokio, huh? I came from a metropolitan area myself, the Big Apple. You've heard of it, I'm sure. Scott's from New York, everyone. Anyhow, my name is Scott, welcome to town. Don't be a stranger. I won't. It's getting a little bit late. We're definitely getting closer to meeting everyone, which is nice. Hey, Ben. Ah, uh, spring. Everything is just so beautiful, isn't it? Those pufferfish people's vibes are bad, Sarah. Bad is not enough. It's evil. I agree. Evil vibes, Ben. Evil vibes. Pufferfish did not pass the vibe check. Okay, so we're about to make a secondary chest to go right here. And we're going to call this one valuables. So things we're going to donate or keep. Uh, it's pretty late, but I kind of just want to clear a little bit more of the farm. I have like a very small amount of stamina left, but we do not want to be left with like, look at this. Look at this mess. If we were running home from this direction late at night, we'd be hooped. We'd be stuck in all this trash and stuff. So we can't have that. See if we can get this tree down before our stamina runs out. It takes so many hits. Also, I noticed in the last episode that it looks like I actually stayed up past 1 a.m. So the new pass out time for Coral Island is actually 2 a.m. But you really don't want to be going to bed that late because then you're going to wake up with like basically no stamina. So it's still best to try to get to bed before like midnight if you can. Oh, I'm pushing it here with my... <laughs> My stamina usage. Okay, let's uh, let's go to bed. Look, I have five left. I'm pushing my girl to her limit. Not even like intentionally. I just want to get stuff done, you know. Let's uh, settle up. I'm just gonna sell a few extra things that I accumulated today. I did most of my selling actually like at the storefront, but that's what we had left over. Let's go to bed. Yes, you guys, we leveled up foraging. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, that's awesome. Foraging level two, which means we get a skill point. So you're not gonna get a skill point on the first time you level up it's going to be at level two for each skill uh, we're going to add three to our maximum stamina which is so important because you can see that we're burning out of stamina so quickly we also unlock the kiln as a craftable we gained a heart with joko uh for giving him a birthday gift that's awesome and we made 135 gold. We just sold some forageables and a starfish that I got from a trash can. So that was a really successful day, if I do say so myself. And before I forget, I'm going to right away apply the skill point to speed demon. Uh, you can pick any of these three skills, but this one is going to be the most helpful in early game because it gives you a 15% increase in your sprinting speed and you can feel the difference. So... Definitely gonna get that one. We did also unlock this kiln. This will help us process wood into charcoal, scrap into glass, and stone into glass. Uh, I don't need that right now. I mean, I don't even have the ore for it. Ooh, let's watch Spoils of the Land. Back to nature with Jenna. You can find shiitake mushrooms in the forest. And obviously, the chance of finding them is higher after a rainy day. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Like my life coach always says, rain brings life. Duh. Oh, that's such a good tip. I did not know that. Uh, also, Game of Cones. Hello, viewers. Welcome to Game of Cones, a fight for the right to be the king of cuisine. As always, our judge is the meanie with the heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramses. <laughs> Today, we have two contestants trying to win the heart and stomach of our stony chef here. Gordy, tell our chefs here what today's theme is. Today's theme is simple and something every good chef should know how to do. Soup. 
Any soup will do. Chefs, go cook. And they're off. Let's check up on our first chef, Chef Rob. Tell us, chef, what are you making today? I don't think I've ever said chef so many times in a row. I'm keeping it simple. Growing up, one of my favorite meals is a good hearty tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. I'm immediately now craving tomato soup and grilled cheese. Mmm, sounds delicious. Let's go to our other contestant, Chef Macy. Chef, what will you be serving our grumpy chef? Is chef even a word anymore? I live by the ocean and it irks me that people throw away perfectly good fish heads. I want to show everyone how easy it is to cook delicious fish head soup. And it looks like our chefs are done. Let's take a look at our first dish. What do you think, Gordy? That's definitely the fish head soup. Oh, very nice. I like the little bit of kick the ginger gives and the heads perfectly thicken the soup. Well done. Let's move on to the second dish. How about this one, Gordy? I love good tomato soup. This is certainly an upgrade from the classic, but I don't know if it has enough of that wow factor. Delicious, nonetheless. Both chefs delivered great dishes, but I think Chef Rob's won today's challenge. Simple consistent and reminds me of the days my mother would take care of me when I was sick. Congratulations, Chef Rob. Not only have you melted the Grinch's heart, but you also win a lifetime supply of tomatoes and the cast iron throne. Wow, thank you. Um, that throne doesn't look very comfortable. It isn't, Rob. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. Oh my goodness, we're being greeted at the door first thing in the morning by Mark. Uh, yes, good morning. I'm Mark. You're the new farmer. I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed? Yes, it was closed, and now it's open. Catch any of that? Yeah, we got it. We got it. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam, no monsters anymore. Just don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Tch, waste of time. You know what, Mark, that'll be the first and last time you call me a waste of time. That is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Look, oh my gosh, our crops are ready, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look, my daisies. We harvested our first crop, so we get 100 gold. Oh, that's so helpful. We need the money. Our turnips as well. Uh, I think everything else is still, yes, in the process of growing. So let's water. I am actually honestly tempted to replant on these two plots. I'm kind of feeling like I'm on a bit of a farming kick. But I do want to check out the caverns too. And we have limited stamina. We got to make some decisions, you know? So I'm going to be selling all of these but one. And all of these but one. No, I think I'm going to keep two of each because I know I'm going to need at least one of each of these. Uh, and so we might need extras for like an errand or something. So I think what I want to do first is go into town. Oh, hello. Antonio. Hmm, yeah? Ah, uh, the new resident. My ex told me about the grandchild of some farmer moving back in. That must be you. See you around. So, Antonio's ex is Suki, if you're wondering. Millie, I can't believe we haven't met Millie yet. Yes, Sarah? I've been meaning to meet you. My name is Millie. It's so exciting to have people moving in. Have you met everyone? Uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. There's someone else here, too. Oh, we haven't met Suki. We haven't even met Suki yet. I can't believe we met Suki's ex before we met Suki. Okay. That's crazy. Oh, hey, it's nice to see you again. It'll be nice to have more farmers here. Being able to get local produce will be a game changer. Oh, look, more bugs too here. Let's catch this uh, fly here. Let's, uh, oh my gosh. I'm moving at the same pace as the fly. Fly, sir, could you please stop moving so I can catch you? Oh, what a great first impression I'll be making for Zara here. This fly never stops. I don't want to waste my stamina though by taking a swing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it finally stopped. Oh, thank goodness. That was exhausting. All that for a fly. They can taste with their feet. Well, that's something I could have gone my whole life not knowing. And a little wood satire, satire, butterfly. A bronze quality too. Wow, bronze quality bug. Hey, Zara, don't mind me. I was just struggling. A new farmer in town. You moved here after the oil spill. Huh, I'm Zara. See you around. I like Zara. Gotta rummage every single trash can. Ooh, a fish. Who keeps throwing out perfectly good fish? Okay, so you know what? I know this is a little bit dramatic. 850? That's almost all of my money. I mean, we don't want to spend like too much money. But you know what? The gift of sight, priceless. Honestly, don't try this at home. I have 149 coins left. So that means we officially need to work overtime. 
to make back the money I just spent on my glasses. Listen, my girl's got to see. She's going to be more efficient when she can actually see what she's doing. Hi, Ben. People toss away the coolest things. It's a total bummer. I like to give those things a new home. Yeah, I sell them, sure, but it's all about recycling, my friend. You got the idea. Right on. Listen, I like Ben. I think Ben's a good guy. So far. I always wonder why Bree didn't buy your grandparents' land. She seems to be at the lookout all the time, so she clearly enjoys the view from up there. It's a mystery to me because the lady has money. But hey, at least now we have you. I'm so glad she didn't buy it. Okay, so let's spend the rest of our leftover money on more seeds. What can I afford with my 149 coins? Four more potato seeds and three more turnips and I'm back to four coins. Oh my gosh, I'm down to four coins. We're gonna have to hustle to make back that money. Oh, there's no way we can catch that. Look at how sensitive it is. Maybe I can catch this one though. Yes, tiger, swallowtail, butterfly. We've made so many new catches. It's really great. We'll be able to donate all these to the museum. As Sunny and Eleanor were saying, I can't believe we have a corporate office across our house. It's uh, a bit weird. I so badly want to give Raphael a gift, but I'm so broke. I need to sell everything I have. Okay, which of the children have we not met? Oh, we haven't met Zoe yet. I'm just gonna disrupt their learning session to say hi to Zoe. You're the new farmer who owns that lot. I used to play there with my friends. Can me and my friends still go to your farm and play in the mud? No. I'm just kidding, they can play. But only in a designated area because I feel like, listen, I don't want them to trample my crops. It's my money, it's my livelihood. Look at this happy family, just all hanging out on a Friday afternoon at separate tables. I can think of some reasons why giants like Pufferfish want in, but I don't think the townies are ready to hear them yet. So Pufferfish Corp was the one who bought the building. Honestly, with the state of our town now, it's just a matter of time. I don't understand why people are quite opposed to outside investment to this island. I get that the oil spill happened, but the island is in dire need of revitalization. Bree, do you really think that Pufferfish is going to revitalize the island? I'm going to try a new recipe today. Oh dang, I ran out of basil. Let's just see if I can cook without it. Would it taste funny, you think, if I change the basil to ginger? I've got plenty of ginger. I think it depends what the recipe is. We need to go plant the seeds I got. Oh my goodness, hi. Everyone just struts around in their bathing suits. I love it. Pufferfish, huh? I don't have too much thought about them. Do you think they'll sponsor my sports team? Should I even try or is it lame? I think you're lame if you get Pufferfish as a sponsor. I can't chit chat all day. Talk to someone else, will you? So let's head back to the farm and let's plant the potatoes and turnips that I bought. It's all the money I had. I'm just going to put away some of the tools I won't need and head to the mines. Let's go check them out. Mark said they were open. Oh my gosh, look! Hanging out with the cows. Hey, Jack. I'm pretty glad people aren't taking to the idea of oil drills around here. On the other hand, I get why some are fretting about the island withering away without any investments. Kenny's a daydreamer, but he has his head on straight. He's a good kid. He's also a good flute player, just like his mother. Oh, I don't need to be convinced that Kenny's great. Don't worry, Jack, I know. This poor tree looks so, so sick. We definitely need to fix that as soon as we can, or at least start working on it. Oh, I want this canola and this canola. Oh, a mango. I see a mango steen. I see money. <laughs> I see a mango steen. I instantly see dollar signs because that's a really good selling spring forage. So far, I think we figured out it's like the best one so far. Uh, let's head into the caverns, you guys. Oh, it's so cool. I just love the design of this. This cavern. <gasps> the earthquake. Get back, get back. You, the weak looking farmer, get back. Get back from the monster. Wait a minute, where are the monsters? <laughs> I don't see any monsters, I do not know. Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quake, the shaking happened right after you entered, right? There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer? Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the earth shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. I love the roots, it looks so cool. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ores and gems. These caves have them aplenty, just don't forget they have monsters too. Take the sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there, and good luck. 
Awesome. I'm so excited because I love mining in every game and I love it in Coral Island. Uh, so we have a new quest. We have to get the elevator turned back on in the earth shaft, which means we'll have to reach level five. So we will definitely do that. Scott's here. Did you bring vitamins with you? I'm broke, Scott. I can't afford vitamins. <laughs> People are telling me jokes about some company changing the museum into oil storage. Oh no. It's just a joke, right? Ah, uh, it's not a joke, but hopefully we can stop them. Okay, so let's go down to level one. I'm definitely excited to get some ore and some crystals, hopefully. And so we have our sword now. Let me just rearrange my pockets a little bit. We don't have like a ton of pocket space. We honestly should be saving up for our next bag upgrade to make our lives a bit easier, but we have quite a ways to go on that. So let's see, I think we have enough candy tree seeds. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, that's good though. We already are off to a good start. It's already 5 p.m. So we don't have like a ton of time to descend the caverns, but if we could get to level five, that'd be sweet. Cause then we could, first of all, get a hundred gold to add to our wallet. Plus we would have made some progress, which would be nice break all these to see if we get any goodies and then just hit like the smallest rocks oh wow we already got a geode that's awesome a new discovery a geode bring it to the blacksmith to crack open there may be valuable items inside that's where we're gonna find the crystals and there was a little monster over there it seems like you can do a pretty good job of evading monsters oh nice look uh, like that guy didn't care about us but also if you guys don't want to play with combat at all uh you can turn it off under settings just go here and turn this to hit to aggro the monsters won't attack you or anything oh look an ore vein how lovely i love these an earth essence as well we're getting some good items so far off to a good start pretty low on stamina though pretty low on time another geode oh my goodness that's awesome i do have my combat mode just on default um so this guy if he gets too close he'll notice i'm here but i can still avoid them pretty well even with combat on come on i need to find the opening to the next level it's got to be here somewhere oh <gasps> a mystery geode too Oh my gosh, that little squeak sound is so funny. Let me fight these critters since they're following me. I didn't get any loot from those two. Oh yes, okay, we found it. Depending on our luck on this floor, we do just have to go one more to uh, save our progress. I really wanna get that ore. I think I'll take down this guy too. I kinda wanna go away from the entrance to try and find the opening. I feel like it might be over here somewhere. 9 p.m., okay, we're still okay on time. We're still okay. Oh, there we go. Yes, we got the opening. Oh, I kind of want to take this ore too while we're here. Yeah, I want to take that ore and then I'm going to break the crates. Oh, some free stone. So we completed this quest. We activated the elevator, so we're going to get 100 gold, which is awesome. I also want to see if the bestiary is implemented yet. Oh, it is. So this is the critter, the pickling. These are called picklings. And oh, this is the type of loot they could drop. Oh, that's really handy. So you know which critters to fight if you need certain things. Okay, so yeah, now we can return to this floor in the future by using the elevator. And it's getting late, so we should just head back to the farm. I have my eyes peeled for any forageables I might spot along the way. I think I'm gonna go this way to see if we can snag anything. Oh yes, oh, another mangosteen, yes. Let me back here, excellent. And a tulip, and another tulip, and another tulip. Oh, what a good little haul here. It's getting late. Okay, we'll have to head back. Oh, I'm so glad we went this way to get these extra forageables. We got one earth essence from that and we got 19 pieces of bronze ore. Uh, we also got the monster essence. I'm going to keep that too. And then I'm going to put these geodes here so we can open them. Look at all this stuff we have. So awesome. I'm going to sell everything else in my pocket here. Okay, let's go to bed. Nice, we leveled up our farming. Farming level one, three to our max stamina. If you don't have the charity DLC bundles, uh, you will have to level farming up to level one to unlock that makeshift scarecrow. Uh, fertilizer, which will be great to get higher quality crops. We also leveled up mining, so another three to our maximum stamina, and we unlocked explosives as a craftable. These are great for clearing off your farmland, uh, to be honest, if you wanna save stamina on that. So that's awesome. And we made 859 gold from selling the crops we harvested as well as a ton of forageables. Yeah, those mangosteens are by far the best. I mean, look at the difference. 60 
versus like 10 for a flower. That is really, really good. I would like to actually craft a flower bouquet and sell that and see what it's worth. We almost made it back up to a thousand coins. I made back the money I spent on my glasses, so that's good. Oh, there's a telenovela on today. Duplicitation? Mom, what is it? What, can a lady check up on her daughter? You can, but I'm in a rush for my next audition. Funnily enough, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. But how could you do this to me? I cut. Thank you for your time. We'll contact you if you get the part. Ugh, now how did you think it went? Am I really that bad of an actor, Tasha? Is that how I look? Is it my vibe? Is it... Oh, I gotta go. Got a new customer. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the watering hole. How may I serve you? Funny you should ask that. I have a proposition for you. Uh, oh, sir... I'm afraid we're not that kind of an establishment. I'm perfectly aware. I've done my research on you. I'm here to offer a job, an acting job. If you're interested, come to this address tomorrow at 8 p.m. sharp. If you're late for even one second, consider the offer revoked. Yes, sir, I'll be there. To be continued? Girl, don't go. Don't do it, it's not worth it. That sounds so sus. Oh my gosh, hey, Pablo. Hello, hello. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Word around town is that you've started to mine the earth shaft. That's actually why I'm here. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do me, you might be thinking. Well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. For a fee, of course. To make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you can now craft courtesy of this blueprint. Yep, I think you're all set now. Wow, what service? I didn't even have to like leave my property to do that. Okay, we have to craft a furnace. I think we're like literally one, we're literally one piece of ore short. Perfect, okay. Let's start by watering. I guess we'll go collect one more piece of ore to make the furnace. I'm so glad we have this sprinkler. It is so helpful, oh my gosh. Okay, let's sell those. And then let's go to the mines again. Okay, so we can go right back down to level five now that we have the elevator. And while we're here, oh look, we could just grab the ore and go if we wanted to, because look, we have an ore vein right away. Oh my gosh, another ore vein? Two on the same floor? Okay, back off. I'm trying to just, I'm just trying to get ore. Ooh, nice, we got some silky fur. It's actually worth it, we're gonna need that. You know what? I'm heading out. Oh, we should check out Ben's caravan too. See what he has for sale. While we're out in the forest, I'm curious because the stock is supposed to change up like every weekend as well as the prices. Uh, look how cute it is. I love the little crystals on display and stuff. The lava lamp, it's so cute. The wild banana farmer outfit, some furniture. Ooh, an ordinary scarecrow. This is good actually. If you guys come here on the first week and get this, if you have the money, which you might, definitely come to Ben's caravan and get this scarecrow if you can. But there's nothing here that I need, so I'm just gonna carry on. Okay, so now that we're back at the farm, we are going to craft a furnace. Awesome, and so now for the quest we have to smelt a bronze bar using the furnace, so we'll have to place that down. And then we need ore and coal, so we have enough to do two bars. So let's start with two bars. And I actually want to try to craft one of these and see what it sells for compared to just like a flower. Like these ones obviously are worth it to sell the daisies, but I wonder if it's more worth it to craft these like forageable flowers. Uh, I'm gonna put my sword away as well and I'll grab the fishing pole instead. And then let's head into town. We still have a few characters that we haven't met yet that we'll have to try and meet. Ooh, and we will just continue to forage, of course. It's all free money, you know. If you can pick it up, you can sell it. If you can sell it, you can profit. Oh, it's Mayor Connor. Hello. Hey there, Sarah. It's good to see you. I'm just heading to Raja's Coffee. Are you here to socialize? Uh, yes. By the way, what's with the pufferfish scene? No. Can you tell me about Karen? Yes and no. Who is pufferfish? Um, I literally was gonna go meet people, so I'm gonna say yes. What's with the pufferfish scene? Uh, the scene. Yeah. It's easier if I show you. Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. See that large F on the town rank board? Yeah, that's us. It didn't happen suddenly though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet Town's A rank. An A, Sarah. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until, ugh, I need to sit down to tell you what happened. Some time ago, we're getting a flashback. 
That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season, we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. Today, we're awarding Starlet Town with a rank of... F. Their goal was an A. They didn't even come close to the goal. Oh my gosh. And there's Karen, of course, ready to pounce. Hello, listen. Prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. Ugh, kick them while they're down, you know? Last year, an oil spill from a neighboring island made its way here and wreaked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time, those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. Their plan to rescue us out is to rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy the museum, ocean, heritage sites, it's hard to accept. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Sarah. Great, even. Business was booming. The town, it was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to an A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with pufferfish. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. It will just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites or getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean? Where do we even start? How do we even start? Ugh. Good thing I'm here to help, honestly. Our town is in a difficult position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me for coffee? The walk and fresh air will do us both good. That sounds lovely. Oh my goodness, it's glowing. There's some magic left on the island. Is everything all right? Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just seeing things, Mayor. It's fine. We don't want we don't want everyone thinking we're crazy, you guys. We won't we won't say anything. All right. So now we've unlocked the town rank. We are at an F. We've done nothing to help yet. Nothing. We haven't donated to the museum. We haven't cleaned the ocean. We haven't contributed to the heritage sites. We've done nothing. Oh, but look, they're doing yoga. That's good. That's something. That's cute. Oh, and they're done. They're like, oh, Sarah's here. We better pack up. Oh, I haven't met Leah yet. She has a cute yoga fit. You said you were a farmer, right? Hmm, that explains the outfit. How cute. Out of all the places you could go, why on earth would you move here? All right. Oh my gosh, and look at Mark. This is so cute. I don't think I'll get over that. I want to go join the party. I love the animals. Oh my gosh, you guys. What animal are we going to adopt? Inari? Bodie, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so tough to choose. I have no idea which one to adopt. Luna, so cute. Hey, Mark. Oh, that's Getty. <laughs> hey, Mark. <laughs> I don't care about all this oil talk. I'll care when they can supply us with better weapons and amenities. Some of the animals at the shelter just wandered here from hillside or the forest, like Taco, the vineyard's dog. Kimba, so fluffy. Oh my gosh, the fluffiest. Oh, please give me an errand that'll make me money. Yes, a turnip. An urgent request for a turnip. I'm so glad I kept an extra turnip. Yes, I accept. I'm desperate for money, you guys. We're broke. I'm gonna immediately sell everything here and be back on my way. I'm just gonna rummage through the town's trash first and then I will go get a turnip for Emily. We'll just complete it right away because we can, so we should. Look at these roots. It literally looks like it's trying to swallow the island whole. Oh, let's try fishing. Let's catch a fish. And that's gonna be trash. Uh, we were just trying to catch a fish and we got a propaganda poster from Pufferfish. How lovely. There, like, look at this trash everywhere. See, I can't see that being from Zara, but also like, why aren't we cleaning it up? I feel like if that were my boat, I would clean up the trash, whether or not I left it there. Like, why does she want to leave the boat every day and see that? I don't know who's littering. We need to catch someone in the act. Ooh, we caught a pink snapper. Nice. Let's try and catch another something. Oh my gosh, this one is... I actually don't know if this one's possible to catch with the current fishing pole I have. I don't think it is. Look, it's like not even moving. It's not possible. Some fish you're just not going to be able to catch until you upgrade your fishing pole. So don't be hard on yourself or anything. Oh, not more trash. No. 
Ugh, it's fine. I'll go do something else. I hear you loud and clear. No fish for me. Betty's a strong woman, but even so, I didn't think it was a good idea for her to attend the pufferfish opening. Well, that was not the best haul. I got a flyer, a fish, and some poo. I'm just going to swing by the farm here. Oh, and we finished processing the bronze bar. So we get nothing for that, but we have to get the turn up for <laughs> Emily. So we'll just hold on to those for tool upgrades and stuff. Let's grab that turn up and see where Emily is on the map, which you can do. There's a find NPC button, which is really helpful. Okay, over in the woodlands, a bit of a trek, but I think I'm gonna go like around the world to get there because I wanna get more like forgeables and stuff. You can never have too many in early game. Uh, not only to level up the skill, but just to like continue making money. Did I clean up this trash? I feel like I've said that a million times because I don't, can't tell if people are still littering. Oh my gosh, there's so- Yeah, you know what? I think I cleaned this up. I think people are still littering or it's washing ashore because I'm pretty sure I cleaned this up. And I know I said like I was okay with it because I was getting treasure, but after that puffer fish incident, I don't know if I'm okay with it anymore. Hey, Betty. Mayor Connor put me in charge of the town's decorations and landscaping. I like doing it, but it's a lot of work. Thankfully, I have Pablo to help. Now that I have a lot of free time on my hands, I can finally give back to the community. Oh, hey, Emily, I have your turnip that you requested. It's the size of my head. Gift turnip to complete errand. Thank you. You are welcome. Eva's a talented baker. She reminds me a lot of Betty. Look, we're gonna get friendship, 120 gold and 20 merit points. Ooh, a little hidden flower here. Oh, I don't have this one. And it's coming towards me. Gotcha. A Cecropia caterpillar. Has colorful spikes. I'm just gonna do my rounds before bed. So the only person we haven't met yet who we can meet is Lily, who has been basically in the house the whole time, every time I've checked anyway. And she works from home, she's in her room and you can't actually go into characters uh, rooms until you have two hearts with them. So I wouldn't be able to go see her anyway unless she like leaves her room. So we'll meet her eventually. The other two we just can't meet yet anyway. Oh, we have mail. Have you tried baking? It's a good stress reliever for me and it might be good for you too. Anyway, here's a mooncake recipe for you to bake at home. Give it a try from Betty. Wow, we got a recipe for mooncakes. That's awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do with these flowers, since we're like testing out how much the bouquets are worth, I'm just gonna hold on to these for the time being to see if it's better to craft them into bouquets first or not for selling. Everything else I'm going to sell. other than the wild seeds, of course, which I will plant. And then I think I'm just going to use a bit of my end of the day stamina to get to work clearing a bit more of my land. Uh, I should actually, before I cut down any more trees, I should do a round and shake a bunch of them to try and get some tree seeds for making more of the candies, since that's like our main source of energy right now is candy. It's getting late, I know, but I need my seeds. What did I get? One so far after shaking all these trees? Oh, two, three, four. Let's head to bed before we actually pass out now that we know it's a 2 a.m. pass out time. What did we accomplish? We gained a heart with Betty. That's awesome. And we made 549 gold from selling a few crops, um, mostly forageables, mostly shells, honestly, and then a couple odds and ends sold a fly, a fish. <laughs> uh, the flower bouquet was 75 gold. So there's a small profit in the flower bouquets. Instead of getting like 50 coins plus whatever you'd get for a piece of fiber, you get 75. Uh, it's not like a ton of profit, but it is a little bit more money to sell them as bouquets. So that's good to know. Well, there you have it, friends. I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Play episode. We accomplished and witnessed so much from the protest at Pufferfish to the flashback with Mayor Connor, unlocking and exploring the mines, going broke, getting my glasses, and making back that money. We are still just getting started, so please give the video a like if you're ready for more episodes. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and until next time, take care. And a very special thanks to Paul, Meredith, Ember, Formotis, Tansy, Becca, Anime Lover, Jack, 
Janes, Cisco, Phoebe, Janelle, Dragonfay, Judith, Blossom, Sunshine, Elsa, It's Me, Cheese, Divine Raven, Kayla, Wolf, Salem, Zaries, Lawrence, Fabiola, Sunshine, Kicknell, Alyssa, Floras, Arnica, and Grey Ghost, my beautiful gemstone members. I love you all very much and thank you so, so much for the extra support on the channel, which really helps to make all that I do possible. It means the world to me.